everyone how you doing welcome back to the channel welcome back to euro truck simulator 2 this is a second attempt at this video <laughs> i recorded it yesterday and uh then realized that streamlabs in its wisdom wasn't recording any of the game sound so <laughs> i made actually a really good video yesterday in my opinion and uh unfortunately it was all lost how is everyone doing welcome back so a couple of things to update you on um as you can see from the thumbnail i bought a new truck i bought a merc after the live stream that we had last monday a couple of you were suggesting to me get an employee get a new truck so i did all that i did all that off stream um i'm in spain at the moment i can't remember what this is called this is the refinery of i'll remember in a minute <laughs> but there's the merc look at the merc oh it's lovely this is a mercedes actros and uh, i just happened to uh, come into this refinery and um there was a cut scene here that you could uh that you could look at and so i came in i parked went to the cut scene thought i'd start the video here so that's why we had that sort of flying intro there where we came in so but this is the merc this is the actros and uh, I bought this used. This wasn't brand new, so it came in this black, in this black sort of livery, black colour. And uh, oh, it looks pretty good. And we'll take a look at what horsepower it's got and that kind of thing, and look at what I needed to do to the garage and our employee and what the what money the employee is uh, is making. But first of all, what we want to do is we want to set ourselves up a little job, don't we? So if we go to the uh, freight market in fact let's uh yeah let's look at the world map because i am at yara so what has yara got for us well we should go there shouldn't we and have a look that's what we should do um let's uh, let's go and dive into it we'll get this started up and off we go we'll just pop back in it's only around this corner and we'll see what job we can pick up. But yeah, really enjoyed the live stream on Monday night that we did. And a few of you came in, which I was really, really grateful for. And um, so I've been playing a little bit more of this this week. And uh, I've been spending a bit of money in game as well, which we'll talk about once we get underway with this job. Uh, I did sleep just previously, so I'm kind of not bad on the sleep. And I filled the fuel up. So, if we can do a short job, we should be good, I hope. But let's see. Let's have a look what jobs we've got. Uh, so, if we do it by route length, we have got Puerto Lano. That's where we are. The refinery of Puerto Lano. Um, we could do one to Granada. That is worth 6.6 .6 grand. That's uh, taking sodium. Uh, we've got magnesium. That's a little bit further. That's going to Portugal. Then we've got one to Italy. We've got two to Italy, actually. So, you know what? I'm going to take this one. This is a fragile job. So, we'll take it. So, what you'll see in the thumbnail is... The thumbnail was from yesterday's video. <laughs> but I'm still going to use it. But we're going to a different place with a different trailer but well, that's fine that's absolutely fine i was a bit annoyed actually because it was a good video i really enjoyed it so we'll attempt to uh, recreate it the best we can and get you guys to come along for the ride with me right we're going for this one so let's just uh, back it up carefully it's a beast this man it's a real beast Because I was asking you guys on the live stream, what is a good truck to get? Because I, I'm really not familiar with the trucks. Um, they're all, you know, to me, to my untrained eye, they're all pretty similar, apart from horsepower, etc. And uh, certainly Farrah and a couple of others mentioned Mercs. Animal was saying, why not get a Merc? He drives a Merc in real life. So here we are, this is what we've got. And even though it was a used one, it was something like it was rated four and a half stars. So 
I think it had done 73,000 kilometres when I picked it up. And I've done a couple of thousand on top of that since, with a couple of jobs that I've done, including yesterday's. <laughs> So let's get out onto the open road, shall we? We'll pop inside. There's a lot of detail in this refinery, isn't there? Look at this. Brilliant. Let's wait for that to go up. So this is just 267 kilometres, this job. So, like I said, we should be good on fuel and sleep. It's uh, 7.46 in the morning, so hopefully we'll get some of this Spanish sun. take it easy because this is a fragile cargo so we don't want to do any damage we want to get the maximum money that we can we're down to 57,000 pounds as you can see you'll remember from the live stream on Monday night last and I'll put a, I'll put a link to that actually up in the top right hand corner just in case you didn't see that but in the live stream I had something like 300 and 350,000 was it it was certainly in the 300s anyway and uh, all that money has been gathered with just me doing jobs I haven't taken out any loans or anything like that I have just been sort of grinding out the jobs getting the money that way so we've used quite a bit of that money as you can see to get our employee well first what I had to do was upgrade the garage so I've got one garage in the game and that is, at Man that is in Manchester, which is where I, right at the beginning, set up my HQ. And it was the very basic garage. So I didn't have a slot for another driver. So first of all, I had to pay to get the garage upgraded. That was the first thing that I did. Then I hired the driver, and then I bought this truck. But rather than assign this truck to the new driver, I reassigned this one to me and gave them the Scania which you've seen me driving on these videos pretty much the whole time. That is the only other truck that I own in the game. I think that was a used one as well, and that's uh, that's providing good service. So I've managed to not take out a loan, which I'm pretty proud of. I think this this game, you know, this game can be a slow burner, can't it? You can, you can duck, jump right in and, you know, get a massive bank loan and be working your socks off to pay it off or you can grind it out like I did and you know I just I prefer to do it that way I find it quite enjoyable doing it that way so but there's no right or wrong way it's all in the game for a reason um, so we are well on our way let's have a quick look outside shall we what a beast that is look at that Let's actually just pop into the menus and um, we'll have a look at the trucks that we've got. So we've got the two, as I mentioned, the Scania, which is uh, my my new employee's Cameron S look uh, with a daily profit of 5,167. Um, or is that the truck? That's the truck that's made that profit, isn't it? That's the average with that truck. So I've probably done that. Um, he's done a couple of jobs since then but it's done 21 21 and a half thousand kilometers and it's got 420 horsepower right this new mercedes actros that i've got is 517 horsepower and nearly 100 horsepower more than the scania and it makes a massive difference it's got some grunt um i've driven it for 3000 kilometers since i've owned it if i have a quick look at the uh, driver manager there's me at the top my rating 5.8, uh, making 6,578 a day or 10, 10 pounds seven a kilometer. And then we got Cameron S, who he's not doing so bad. He was 0 0.8 when I hired him. Um, he's now 1.7 driver rating and he's making 4.66 per kilometer. And he's right at the start of his career with us. So, you know, he's making 964 a day, but that's 964 pounds that is just going in my pocket, basically, or in the company's pocket, I should say. So, you know, it's all good. Um, 
let's have a look at the garage. This is the garage. This is the only garage I've got, as I mentioned. I've got two out of three trucks, two out of three drivers. 100% productivity, which is good. And a daily profit there of 7,500. So you can see the slots. There's me over there. There's our guy. And uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's at the beginning. But we're getting there. So it's quite an enjoyable bit of, uh, of the game, that, isn't it? So... I had that in my mind to do for a while, um, but I just not got round to it. But I, I did spend a lot of money, but it's fine because I'm still I'm building it up. I think I had thirty eight thousand after I'd done all that, and I'm up to fifty seven. And I have actually just had this just before the video started. I did have this truck in for some repairs as well because someone hit me in the last in the last run that I did. And so I had to go and get some repairs. So I did have about 70 odd thousand just before this video started. So it's fine, it's all good. We'll get the money back. I'm not too concerned. But anyway, the Spanish countryside is looking lovely. I'm hoping we can get onto the open road. We're on the air roads at the minute, it looks like. Eight seventeen a.m. Uh, speed match today. Don't want a ticket for that. Let's put the cruise on. But this cab, this cab's a lot better laid out as well than the Scania, so I can instantly see there on the dash what's going on with the fuel. Um, if you've got any damage, the damage also comes up on the screen in front. You can see how many kilometres you've got until your tank runs dry. Uh, you can also see when you're in the cruise, you can see clearly I'm in a cruise set to 75 at the moment. That's all in there, the clock's in there, the distance, everything is nicely and clearly set out there. So I do quite like that. It's a nice little cab. The mirrors are in a good position. They are for this seating position that I've got and I need to slow down once again. There we go. Whoops. But um, we're well on our way. We've got 209 kilometres to go. We're on to the motorway, so this will uh, help us. Let's get out in front of this guy. Is he letting me out? He is. Top man. So you'll notice as well, uh, there's a couple of there's a couple of mods. Um, one of which is... There are no, no cheats, by the way. I'm not using any kind of cheats. But there are some mods, and one of those is the real company's mod. So you will see, going past us, you will see names that you recognise, things like DHL, Coca-Cola. No, that's that's American Truck Simulator. There's IKEA, because we ran as IKEA in a previous video. Metro has just gone past the other, other way. Um, it, it really adds a little bit more to the game, if you can get that. It's a free mod, that. But it's well worth picking up. But as for the rest of it, you know, I've not got any cheats switched on. I know you can get a cheat that gives you infinite money, but what, what would be the point of that? Unless you really, really don't like the career mode. And I quite enjoy it, as I've said. It gives you some purpose, doesn't it? Rather than just driving. So, yesterday's video that went terribly wrong at the end, after I was quite proud of it, um, I came from the top end of Spain, went into Portugal, because I'd not even visited Portugal. I went all the way down the coast of Portugal, back down into Spain. And uh, it, was, it was a really good run. I was so annoyed, honestly. I could not work out what was wrong with it. But anyway, it's just one of those things. And I was already having a bad day yesterday because I recorded a Trains in World video on the Long Island Railroad and the whole way through for some reason I referred to the M9 as being the M7 so hopefully if you watched that video yesterday you did see the sticky uh, pinned comment that I put explaining that I knew all along that I was calling it the M7 but it wasn't the M7 but that was the type of day I was having yesterday nothing ever goes straight forward does it but anyway, we're back on Eurotruck. I 
promised myself I would uh, I would do another video. And if this guy in his BMW 1 Series will get on, then we can be uh, back up to speed. With 142 kilometres to go. So, as far as this Mercedes goes, are there any other trucks you would recommend that are bigger and better? Because I, I honestly, I don't know. I know they cost a lot of money. Um, I, that's why I didn't buy this one new. I think I paid, I think I paid about 150,000 for this, if I recall correctly, for a used one. Uh, and it's a bit of a risk, but actually, it's a substantial saving on the new one and it runs just fine there's no problems with it um, so that's why I've bought, I've bought used on the two occasions I've bought a truck but I just didn't want to dip into that loan business you know but tell me how you play it if you've been playing this for a long time let me know in the comments how you play it I'm just following my own sort of way of doing this and like I said there seems to be no right or wrong way but I'm interested to know do you have some kind of strategy for this what's, what's your strategy for making a lot of money in Euro truck or in American truck because they're both very similar aren't they in the, in the sort of gameplay mechanics the way that it's set up Oh, we've got some people speeding on here. I can do 90. What are these guys doing? Zipping past me. I don't actually know what the speed limit is in Spain. I know in Germany it's very fast, isn't it? You can pretty much go what speed you want, but... I don't know in Spain. Right, we're coming off here. Not quite there. We're going under this uh, this other motorway and then coming back up. So I'll get the indicators on. Just prepare for this uh, curve. We need to be forty going up here. Those hills over there have a very American truck simulator kind of desert look to them, don't they? Which you would expect in Spain. It's quite, uh, it's quite dry, isn't it, over there? We need to get across. Sometimes this can be a little bit scary at 40 kilometers per hour when everyone's bombing it at 90. 70 kilometers. So I, I imagine as well, 517 horsepower this, I imagine as well I will be able to get upgrades for the engine. So I'll be able to add a few more horses to that. I'll see how I get on with that. I might not, I might not spend money on that though because I think this is quite powerful as it is. And I might not need to do that. I might, um, you know, I might start building up the, uh, the truck fleet. I, I think what I'm going to do is try to get... I'm going to aim to get another employee, I think. Um, but I'll tell you one thing about this that I do quite like, since I've had the employee. Um, in, in relation to other games we've played, that are trucking games, and I, I'm thinking of On The Road, one of the things in On The Road that I really couldn't stand was setting up jobs for your employees. Every time you went in to run a job for yourself, first of all, you had to, you had to pick a starting point and an end point for all your employees to do the jobs and uh, I'm squeezing out of here now I think I might have gone the wrong way oh no there's a roadblock um, and so it would take you if you got the maximum number of employees which I have got in on the road I probably spent a good half hour setting up jobs for them before I could set up my own job now in this the difference with this is all you do is employ the driver give them a truck 
and they go off and find their own jobs. Now, admittedly, there has been a couple of occasions where it's flashed up at the bottom there in the minimap and said that my driver's not been able to find a suitable job and I've still had to pay for the fuel, etc. But that's way easier than spending time sat in a menu assigning jobs. It's a, it's a very boring part of on the road that. And, and this this is much better. The way they do it in this game is much, much better. So I was quite pleased with that. I did wonder, am I going to have to sit in a menu for a long time rather than driving? But I was pleasantly surprised to find out that no, it just did it itself. It's part of the game mechanics. So that was good. Right, we're nearly where we need to be. I did actually see on the minimap that there was another um, little cutscene that we can go to. So we'll have a look at that, shall we? If I can get around this uh, this roundabout, all okay. Uh, you can see just before, just before uh, where we're dropping this trailer off, you can see the little camera icon. So I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll drop this off and then we'll go and have a look at that viewpoint before we go. It's quite flat out here, isn't it? Around In between these mountains that you can see in the distance, we've got quite a flat area in the middle. I wonder if that is, uh, that's probably over there. What is it, some kind of uh, solar farm? It's like solar panels, doesn't it? But I think that is going to be the uh, the little viewpoint that it shows us. But yeah, let's get this dropped off first, then we'll come back. And that's a good way to do it. Coming off the tarmac road now as well, onto the dirt track, which is interesting. Now does it? Oh, it does, yeah. It does kick up dust as well. That's quite neat, isn't it? We'll just take it nice and easy. Apparently you can do 80 down here, according to the uh, little mini-map there. I don't think we're going to do 80, that would just be ridiculous, especially as we're turning in here. And to swing it out and make sure we don't go down this dip. Because that would be uh, a little bit of a disaster, especially when we've got a fragile load that we're carrying. Let's use as much of this as we can as well to swing it in. And we'll follow this little fence. How are we doing at the back? We're good, we're good. Alright. There's the little cutscene coming up. But we'll come back to that because I want to deliver this first and in good time. get paid before we do anything else so we've got another bend with a drop on either side so let's negotiate this as best we can I've not swung out actually as much as I did for the previous one hopefully these little uh, sides of the road don't collapse on us because we've probably got some weight behind us and Granada is discovered so it looked like then it came flashed up in the bottom corner 17 out of 51 places I presume that is in Spain that I've discovered so far, so that's quite good. Here's where we need to drop off, so we'll get that done. Now, as parking goes, this one actually doesn't seem too bad, so we'll get as much room for it as we can. There we go.
but I can definitely recommend this Merc if you're looking for a new truck. I think this one will suit me for quite some time, to be honest. So, thank you for those who uh, who suggested this to me. And uh, I'm a little bit close to that trailer, so... I like how that dust comes up though, that's quite good. Right, we'll push this back in. Then we'll uh, straighten up the front. I don't know if that's going to... That won't give it to us, will it? We're going to have to go forwards. And then we'll pl put it straight back, I think. What's in front of us? Anything? Surprisingly not. Let's get that back end swung around a little bit. No, I don't want to skip the parking. Where's the fun in that? Right, if I go straight back now, that should do us. There we go. Right, let's get this unloaded. So it's just Y to do that. Got an excellent rating. We got bonuses for the type of uh, delivery we did. Long distance delivery bonus, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so 6,609, 489 XP. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad. So let's jump back into uh, where we were. We'll just go and have a quick look at that cutscene before we go. Which is just outside of this gate. And that's been quite a fun little run, that one. We can afford to go a little bit faster as well when we're just in the cab. He says. Let's hope I don't uh, regret saying that. So detailed, aren't they? These models. Here it is. So let's check out what this is. The parabolic power plant of Andalusia. There you go. <laughs> it's great, isn't it? It really is. But thank you everybody for joining me. I hope you've uh, hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be back with some more Euro Truck very very soon. Please do give me a like, and if you've not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it will help me out a great deal. Thanks again, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.